will not be changing hands in the governor's mansion as you decide 2014. Incumbent Republican Governor Scott Walker has won his re-election bid. He defeated Democratic challenger Mary Burke by about 5 percentage points, 52% to 47%. Fox 11's Robert Hornacek has balanced coverage. My husband, the governor, Scott Walker. For the third time in four years, Republican Scott Walker has won a statewide election for governor. Walker was first elected in 2010, survived a recall in 2012, and now he has defeated Democratic challenger Mary Burke. And I just appreciate all of you coming out, all our supporters, all the grassroots workers. Walker addressed his supporters at State Fair Park in West Dallas. That's the difference between what we believe here in Wisconsin and what they're selling in Washington. We believe the opportunity is equal, but the outcome is up to each and every one of us. But at times, it sounded more like Walker was talking to the nation, not just the state. It is the American dream that talks about the dignity of work. And in America, we take a day off to celebrate the 4th of July and not the 15th of April, because in America, we celebrate our independence from the government, not our dependence on it. Meanwhile, in Madison, Mary Burke thanked her supporters. It's okay to be disappointed tonight, but it's not okay to not get back up. Burke, who came up short in her first run for statewide office, says the election may be over, but the fight goes on. This campaign is over, but the fight for these values and that fair shot that is so important to Wisconsinites and our future is not. Now that Walker has survived a re-election battle, there's no doubt speculation about his political future will pick up. He has said that he plans to serve the next four years as governor, but he has long been mentioned as a possible presidential candidate. In West Dallas, Robert Hornacek, Fox 11 News. Walker is shifting his focus to working with the state legislature on the next budget.